Hi, I'm Chris Harvey from Curia Training. This is one of a series of videos in which I'll be showing you how you can use PowerPoint 2010 more efficiently. In this particular video, I'll be sharing with you a tip which is very useful when you are adding animations and transitions to your presentation. So I have a fairly typical bullet point list in front of me and I've just set up a wipe animation to um, introduce all of the text when the presentation is run. I want to now see how this will look on the screen as if I was delivering the presentation. And whilst choosing an animation does give you a preview on the screen here, it's nice to be able to judge how it will look full screen. A good tip for you then is to run the presentation from the slide that you are currently on. In my case, I'm on slide 8. So instead of starting the presentation right at the beginning, I'm going to start from this particular point. If I press Shift and F5, it runs the presentation from the slide that I currently had selected on my screen. This is much better at me being able to judge how the animations will appear when I come to doing this presentation for real. I hope this helps. For more information on how QA can help you understand PowerPoint and Office 2010 better, please click on one of the links below.